Hey, it's Jake from Early Eyes, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Before we talk about your music, I want to talk about your signing to Epitaph because it's something that's fairly recent. So how did that kind of happen for you guys? And what was it about Epitaph that you guys felt was the right label for Early Eyes? Um, we... The way it kind of happened was one of those just like chance. Our manager got an email that was like from Epitaph and he kind of gave us the whole like, you know, sometimes they just like send out emails, you know, that doesn't mean doesn't mean like that they want to sign us or anything. And then by the end of that day, he was like, hey, Epitaph wants to sign you. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, and we had been like in having a little bit of the beginnings of conversations with some other labels as well. But what like what struck us really as something incredible and awesome about Epitaph is like the amount of freedom that they give their artists. Like they said, we went up and had a meeting with them and went up, down, I'm in Minnesota. <laughs> we went down and had a meeting with them in LA and they kind of like explained that it was like, you know, we just want to be here to support you. And that was like a, a very, uh, I don't know. It, 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 we knew we were in good hands. <laughs> That's cool. And I feel like Epitaph's been really taking, I wouldn't say taking chances, but they're starting to open up their roster a little more. Yeah. Um, before it yeah. used to be such a strictly punk kind of label, but now I feel like I'm listening to so many different genres, which is incredible. Yeah. Um, so as far as Early Eyes goes, you know, you guys recently dropped your Sunbathing EP and such a beautiful EP. Like these five tracks are incredible. Um, like I want to talk about like that creative process and, you know, what was that like kind of teaming up together as a band, especially during these times and making this EP happen? We, uh, we actually made it before everything went down. Nice. We made these songs back in like last October, like so October of 2019. Yeah. And in, it was like, in a way, these, these songs were very much like of that era for us. It was like a time where we were like, pursuing our music dream and we had just gotten signed and we were like in LA recording these songs and having just like super profusely positive and hopeful experiences uh and then 2020 happened <laughs> and it was like yeah the world and our, our kind of perspective on most m most of what what was happening in our lives like completely changed and since then like we have kind of found this batch of five songs to be like a nice reminder of what it was like to be alive in 2019. Cause I feel like it's so hard to remember what anything was like before the et cetera. So long ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in saying that, did you guys, was this EP done before like the signing or did the, did the signing happen and you guys kind of started recording it? We, this, this EP is like our first, it was the first music that we started like writing uh, to put out on Epitaph. So we had like okay. known that we had signed and we were like, the gears were, were, were humble. <laughs> How much pressure was added now that you guys knew there was a label and then there was even a, an even bigger team behind you guys now? In a, in a way, having a bigger team helped, helped us, I think, feel like a little more relaxed and like a little more comfortable, but also like, because it was like, we have such a good reputation like epitaph is a label we have like such a high reputation to hold up we were like okay it's got to be really good though <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it was like the pressure is definitely on so as far as like going into the studio to recording these tracks uh what producer did who did you guys work with as far as a producer and what was it about this producer that you guys felt was the right fit yeah every every other track on sunbathing actually is a different or is it's two different nice. producers, but they swap back and forth. So the first one, the f yeah, the first song is, all the odds, I should say, are done, or, wait, do I have that backwards? I do have that backwards. Sorry, <laughs> forget the track list I just, never mind. Forget everything I just said. We were, <laughs> to sum it up, we worked with uh, Eric Palmquist out in Los Angeles, and it was a okay. wonderful time. That was kind of our, like, foray into the, like, I guess, studio experience because like in the past we had been working with uh chris coza who's like a wonderful incredible person um but we were it was like a little more low-key we were kind of just like back and forth in between work and whatnot like in the studio and it, we never really 
got to like sit down like the way we did in LA with Eric Palmquist and just we were like okay we have a month let's put together however many songs like let's make music so that was like yeah it was super rad and then uh the other tracks on the record are produced by Jacob Vanyo, who's a like songwriter out of Nashville um songwriter producer I should say out of Nashville uh who's like we met in just one of those like co-writes we met up like in just like a general co-writing session but we hit it off and we were like let's let's make keep this let's keep this train and rolling we're having fun here right <laughs> how did the, the the dynamic of both producers kind of challenge you guys uh in order to be like better musicians better artists better better singers for this uh for this ep for sure yeah like what it like our again we had never really been in the studio before so like we had come we had to come to terms with and wake up to so many things in our first like session in los angeles we were like the 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 doors had opened and there were so many things to look at and we had to just like keep walking <laughs> to finish the job so yeah we like pretty much in every aspect of ourselves we had to like step our game up um and then moving forward into like the Jacob Bonio thing, that was our first real experience, like writing songs while you record them. Yeah. And that was something that we'd never done before. Usually we'd like bring prepared songs or like have at least an idea if we were like, let's start from scratch and like write songs <laughs> and right. just put them in the box and put them out. And it was, yeah. So that was like writing in the studio was something else that was really new to us. So it was like another, another hurdle to jump over. Did they kind of challenge you in, in, like having different vocal ranges uh, when it comes to these songs? Um, in some ways, yeah. And in, in other ways, no, like it was, in, yeah. Like in LA, it was a lot more like the lights were off, the mood was on, like, let's like get this like emotional, passionate, like let's make sure that like the, the, the amount of work that we put into the, like music part is also the amount of work that goes into the emotion part. And then in Nashville, it was like, we're hanging out and making music, like, which was, yeah. <laughs> and I love like, you know, listening to this EP, like it, it's, there's so much like it's catchy, but it's also like, there's so many dynamics of like, there's so much energy going on. And like, I feel like it was such a fun experience kind of like being there and creating it. But at the same time, like looking at the music video for the latest single, Wander, I feel like you guys are just actually just being yourselves. Like this is what you guys are in the real world. Um, and <laughs> yeah, like, like that's pretty cool. Cause it's like, as you kind of mentioned before, like Epitaph is letting you be you, letting, letting you guys do what you guys normally do. So how, you know, how important is that for you guys, especially because you're about, you're introducing yourself to the world in a, in a whole new level. Yeah, I, I something we've always put kind of at like the forefront of our band, like our goal as a band is like to have is to like make music that's really like honest to who we are and really easy, like in some ways easily digestible, but mostly just we want to have like no sort of ego barrier that like a lot of artists put up is to be like, we're making the music and you just listen to it. Like we wanted to just be like, hey, we're we just we're just people who like to make music and like that's what this is and thank you for being along with us for the ride so like that's something that i think we always put forward from the get-go but especially with this wander video that was like in the midst of like the super it was like right after the beginning like right right after they started to kind of like lift a little bit of the stuff mm -hmm. um and so we were able to rent out a green screen studio and we were like we have because of the no plan so let's just go in there with the bike and we'll make it happen <laughs> you know <laughs> we just will act the way that we are and so people can hang out with us <laughs> <laughs> and why wander as your next single yeah what why uh we we i don't know we kind of just wanted to like wander was a song that we sat down with jacob vanyo and we were essentially kind of like let's just write a really fun song like there's no rules there's again like no ego there's no sort of like let's just like try to make something super fun let's just like to, to, and mostly in in regards to just like to enjoy the songwriting process we're like let's just like have fun and keep chasing what is fun for us to write um and we ended up like making wander and it kind of just like really summarized that pre 
hopefulness that we like all found ourselves thinking about when we went back and listened to those songs um because it is just so like a it's such like a, a carefree and 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 yeah it's a carefree good good vibe song lastly with this uh these five songs which one of the songs was the biggest challenge to either write or produce or just Ooh. finalize for the ep i think that's hard. They all, they all really, like in a way it did come really naturally. I think, I think if I, uh, the biggest challenge maybe was the track sunbathing because we had when we, which is the final track and we kind of had this like vision of having a bunch of auxiliary percussion in a song and like, like making it something, making something like super uh, like rhythmically dense and like it was really hard for all of us to be like a bunch of people who played guitar and piano to like jump in and like start thinking outside of like super on the grid rhythm, you know, and like grabbing all these different instruments, which some of us have never played. Like the, there's the, I think it's called, don't quote me on this. I think it's called a Cuico, but it's like that instrument. It's like a drum with a, stick hanging from it and you wet your hand and rub the stick and it goes like Ooh, <laughs> it makes like that sound that's a first for me <laughs> right i know it's like some lot so we like it was like that was it was straight up like hard to play a lot of the stuff that's going on in in that song we also <laughs> asked our friend chavo daniel chavez from minneapolis he grew up in la so he came out and recorded some trumpet and did a lot of the like auxiliary percussion that's on that track as well <laughs> but yeah, it was like, it was very hard to just kind of organize our thoughts into something coherent in terms of rhythm. <laughs> That's amazing, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations with the signing and congratulations with Sunbathing EP. Thank you. Um, you have, you have made me a new fan. So definitely looking forward to Thank more you. music from you guys.